Hello, everyone. Welcome to this meeting of the Community Preservation Act Committee on December 21st, 2023. I'm calling the meeting to order at 7.03 p.m. We're meeting remotely via Zoom, which is permitted by the town and state. This meeting is being recorded and will appear on the town of Amherst uh, CPA webpage. Um, I'm going to call on people now so that we know that you can hear us and that we can hear you. Uh, I'm Sam McLeod. Uh, Tim? Uh, present. Uh, Bob? Here. Matt? Present. Doug? Present. Michelle? Present. Katie? Here. Robin? Present. David? Present. So I believe that's all of us. If I miss somebody, please speak up. Uh, and it seems that everyone can hear us and we can hear you. Uh, we need to have a minute taker for every meeting. Uh, does anyone wish to volunteer to do so for this meeting? I'll go. My turn. All right. Success. Thank you, Michelle. Um, so we left off our last meeting uh, in the process of deliberations. I sent an agenda around and we'll uh, commence again with our discussions in a moment. The first item on our agenda is to approve any outstanding minutes. Um, we did just receive a draft of earlier minutes from Robin. Robin, do you recall which date was that was? Was it the 9th of November? It was the 9th of November, yep. So I don't I don't know that we have time, you know, anyone's had an opportunity to look those over at present, but uh, they're submitted here so that we'll be sending them to everyone to look over uh, to provide comments. And thank you, Robin. But uh, I don't think we sh need to approve them uh, today. Um, the next item on our agenda is public comment. Uh, I don't see anyone in the audience, but I'd like to uh, invite anyone who wishes to make a public comment to do so. It's required of any public meeting to provide the opportunity. I'll wait a minute in case somebody's in queue. I guess it's the time of year where everyone, uh, even in Amherst, there's fewer words to be said in the evening with other things going on. <clears throat> so I'm not seeing any uh, anyone in the audience. Uh, therefore, no hands are raised. I'll give it another 15, 20 seconds. All right, uh, no one in the audience, so uh, I'll call the public comment portion of the agenda to a close. And the next item on our agenda is to continue to discuss and vote on recommendations to uh, for the town council. I think it would be helpful, um, Holly, if we could take a look at that spreadsheet that we had up at our previous meeting. So um, I'm going to pull that up and I just want to, um, if I may go over a couple of things um, sure. first. Um, number one, there was a few questions from the last meeting. Um, I believe Robin had raised um question of whether or not there was any additional funding for historic preservation where we had some due diligence funds for surveys, et cetera. Um, there is no money in historic preservation. I believe there is a small bit of money left under the open space category. I think she was thinking of using a um, portion of that money for um, one of the smaller historic preservation projects. Um, there is no money available there. 
Um, another thing was we had talked about um, can the administrative expenses be used for the um, historic preservation restrictions? Um, can that come out of our administrative costs? And the answer to that is no. Um, I did speak with Sonia Aldrich earlier today and confirmed that that is why a couple of years back, I think you were adding in about $5,000 for those on a couple of the projects, which is what I believe we were um, thinking of doing on the Amherst Zion Church. And then the third thing I wanted to just very quickly go over with folks is um, I tried very hard over the last couple of days to make contact with a couple of folks on some projects that still had money left that are a little bit older. And if any of them are done and can be closed out, um, I was only able to come up with one. There are a few that are hoping to finish up by the end of this fiscal year by June 30th, which may have some balances or may not. It all depends on how those two play out. But I was able to identify one project with, um, and you all can see my screen right now. <clears throat> I'm hoping. So there's one yes. project with a $27,000 balance that is not going to be used. The project is done there past the three years. So we do have, um, I was I was looking to see if we could cover that $432 somewhere and I found that and a little more. So I was able to identify $27,000 that I just need to close out and roll back in to the available funds. And that's going to give us um, just a slight bit of cushion there um so great job holly thank you <laughs> so with that and i tried to um rework the formulas here in the spreadsheet so that you can own uh, where did holly go it says i'm the host now I'm guessing that she accidentally disconnected. Let's wait a moment for her to re-sign in since uh, she and has- Dave this... looks amazing, Sam. Pardon? Dave looks amazing. Dave looks amazing? D does I'm not Dave's upside down I on mean, my screen. Dave, it's oh, incredible. <laughs> well, uh, I've been there. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Where is he? Oh, David Williams. Yes. Yeah, you're upside down on our screen. <laughs> okay, I can't see even see it. I'm I'm working on it. You well, you all go ahead. I hear you're you. You're with us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I do that Angels sometimes when I get tired. So we're going to wait a little bit for Holly because she has the spreadsheet of importance for us. Yeah, okay. I'm fine. I was upside down. Uh, Doug, I, Doug, I see that your hand is raised. Yeah, I was going to ask a question in this interlude. Uh, during the minutes conversation, did you say that we were all sent the November 9th minutes in draft form? No, they were just sent to Holly and me about oh, okay. uh, 15 minutes ago or so. All right. Uh, then, then I'll stop looking for them in my inbox. But we will... Holly or I will send them and if there's any comments so at our next meeting uh, we'll have those done. Well, it's, it's good news that we got from Holly regarding the 27,000 so we'll have to consider that. Now I don't have uh, Holly's direct contact away from the office. I'm wondering, Dave Zomack, do you have a way to reach Holly via text to see what's uh, what's transpiring? I see you nodding. Let me let me just check on that, Sam. I'm actually yeah. not sure, but hopefully it's not a power outage. Strange solstice doings. That's right. It's the solstice, <laughs> shortest day of the year. Thank God. <laughs> you won't need to let her in, will you? I don't believe so. I'm looking at panelists and attendees, and okay. 
Uh, she's not currently an attendee, but that's a, always a possibility, Doug. So thank you. It's a uh, it's a function of the Zoom age. Let me see if I can get it somehow here. The good news is, uh, I believe we made good progress at our last meeting. So I, I think we're still in a good position despite any delays that occur. There, there she right, is. Back. I think accounting department. There she is. Okay. You're back. Well, that was fun. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no did every did it go well for everybody or just me? Just you. Oh, okay. I thought I lost everybody. Thank God I made you a co-host. I thought I canceled the whole thing. Sorry. Um, computer died and then it needed to update. So let me get back to where I was. Those, those updates are really <laughs> troublesome. They they happen and they go on for quite a while. It's happened uh, to me on a number of occasions. So let's see. I'm sorry about that, guys. No problem. Um, okay. So here we are back to, yeah, we're going to have to close this out. So now with the little bit of extra that I have found, oh, I lost all my stuff. I'm gonna have to rework my formulas. You're gonna have to give me a second here. I think we had about just right. over 26. Almost twenty seven thousand um, dollars available. Oh no, I lost everything. All right, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a moment and try to recover the spreadsheet because I appear yep. to have lost it. So. Just bear with me, give me a minute and uh... Sam, do you have like uh, an icebreaker or something we could do while Holly um Pardon? An icebreaker? <laughs> I was um, just gonna check in on how Bob Saul's feeling. He had COVID favorite, last week. How you yeah, doing, did, Bob? So I'm I'm feeling great. I was about to I was about to stall by asking in esoteric question that Actually, only a newbie can ask and I'm it's right. really of both Dave and Sam and maybe Tim and uh, the wiser heads here. Um, I, I was just looking down the list and trying to determine if qualitatively the, um, the two um, funds for affordable housing are somehow different in their characteristics than the CapEx matches from CPAC for town projects. And it may, maybe it, it, this is, again, going brushing off the cobwebs of my old FinCom experience that it seemed to me in the CapEx budget that the town presents to the FinCom, there's a whole laundry list of things that um, need to be done. A lot of it is, uh, most of it is deferred maintenance. And it just would seem that the CPAC funds have more of a 
for lack of a better term, more of a venture capital type of characteristic to them. They sort of get things kickstarted, similar with the trust fund and the town's funds to suss out the affordable housing project. So I'm sort of asking a big question. Is there a, is there a different priority for town CapEx projects such as the War Memorial Playground versus these these funds that are lying in wait to initiate um, some of these affordable housing projects. I'm going to have to profess ignorance. I'm not really familiar with CapEx uh, proposals, despite your description of them. <laughs> um, I, I'm not cognizant of uh, what what it is that makes a project, a CapEx project. I don't know what it is to be a member of the CapEx. Perhaps uh, Dave Zomack might help. I see that Matt Kane has his hand up. Matt? I mean, I don't know if I can definitively answer you, Bob, but I was my first year on the committee last year, and I was a bit confused about what the role of CPA funds in the town budget were myself. Um, and I oh. guess the, the, my working... A hypothesis right now is, um, uh, you know, it's sort of another form of capital that the town has access to. You know, there's also the community development block grant, which is a sort of a similar thing as this. That's a block of money that comes, I think, from the federal government or something. And there's a committee that allocates that. Um, and then we have this, this, this capital allocation. And then obviously this year, a lot of the requests for the CPA money are coming from the town, um, you know, 80% or something. So uh, my, the way I think about it is it's just like another form of capital that the town has access to that we can spend in these, in these ways. Um, and then with respect to the affordable housing trust and the town affordable housing account, you know, Last year, there was the CPA committee gave directly to some to two affordable housing projects, and in previous years they have done that um, also. But in in the this year, we don't have any direct projects to give to, so we can just allocate the money to the town and through the affordable housing trust or directly, and then they can spend it more on these development funds. As a follow up, Matt, I mean, hearing your response. Uh, and I assume you know this, but I'll communicate it just in case anyone listening. Uh, the town, there's a 3% tax on uh, that is allocated specifically for the CPA funds, and the CPA funds must be uh, spent or utilized in these four categories. Uh, so that probably, you know, I know what we are. I'm not familiar with the, the CapEx. At first it was one and a half or 1%, and then the town voted to raise it to 3%. Mm. But uh, if anyone has any differing awareness, let me know. We have the ability to uh, allocate full or recommend funding, excuse me, recommend funding, which goes to finance and then towards town council for any projects that we deem appropriate and wish to recommend that qualify and that's regardless of whether the project is from originates from a, a town initiative or uh, an external initiative so uh, okay. it's my awareness uh doug marshall yeah i was wondering isn't there a distribution requirement for a certain percentage of our funds to go to each of the four categories, or is that not true? 10% uh, is needed. And the existing debt service uh, qualifies as a component of that 10%. So for with all the bonding that's existed, we meet that 10%, I believe, in all the categories before we even oh. make recommendations okay. here. So we uh, to, don't need to do that calculation tonight. I think it's already been done. Okay. Uh, Tim? Yeah, that, that by the way, that calculation was done in some of Holly's previous financial sheets. Um, yeah, I was a, a former finance committee meeting so member, so let me see if I can help out you understand this. 
the the town has a capital budget that's funded through the property taxes and the operating budget and the capital budget come out of those property taxes so normal capital expenditures like a fire truck or i don't know a police cruiser or things like that come out of the town's capital budget on top of that what we do is deal with the supplemental 3% tax levy that every taxpayer has to pay that goes into a completely different pot that we have an ability to distribute and uh so the monies that go to the uh, trust fund and on these projects are not at all in the town's capital budget. And if there was not a 3% CPAC levy, uh, none of those projects could happen. Uh, or they might compete against other general capital needs within the town's budget. So if that helps to explain it. That's what we're dealing with. Thank you, Doug. I uh, appreciate that. Holly? Okay, so, <laughs> oh boy, what a day. Um, so I, I lost the entire spreadsheet because I had not saved it, apparently. Yeah. And so I'm just going to ask Dave Z if he can a quick look I think all the numbers back to what we discussed um, at the last meeting. But Dave, if you could just look at the town projects, was it 300 for the municipal, Amherst Municipal Affordable Housing Trust? And we went to 150 for the town? Mm -hmm. I, have a I have a copy. Okay. I, I just don't have it with me right here, right now. And I just want to make sure I got everything back in there the right way. I believe I did. Um, I believe I did. So with the additional, if, see it, if you're able to share it, it would uh, oh give us. Uh, the I'm same so sorry. Visual. I also have a spreadsheet with the correct numbers that we discussed last week. I'm pretty sure I got it back. So let's. Uh, okay. Are there so any David, that are these questions on? are these the correct? Charles went to eighty. Yes. Went from eighty-five to sixty-five. We added the five thousand here to the Zion. We took fifty off of this. We took, okay, so I got everything back to where it should be. All I'm right. so sorry, guys. It's been Good a week. Um. So with the additional funds that I. Can I interrupt, Holly? Have you saved yeah. what you just created? I, I recommend that you save what you just created. It's, <laughs> this is the publisher in me who has <sighs> documents that get edited all the time. Yeah. Save or you can back. just use you can just use a cloud solution and you don't have to bother. That that would be good, but we're not there. <laughs> Add a B to it <laughs> or a dash. Okay, go ahead. Sorry, Holly. I, I was serious in my comment. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so the, um, like I said, that, that that's what we've got right now, um, and that leaves us with twenty six six ninety eight to the positive. Twenty six six ninety eight. Twenty six six ninety eight. So, uh, aside from the individual projects, I get I guess one question would be is there does the committee wish to allocate the additional 26698 and if so what project might those funds be utilized for so i'll just make that comment and see what people say uh tim who anticipated my uh, proposal, and that is I would add back the 20000 for the softball fields that we took out the last time, which would take 20 out of that 27 so we'd still have about 7000 ish to play with. And the reason I would add that back 
is I feel we need to do all three sites for softball fields. There's a safety issue per, per, particularly, and the town was generous in terms of helping us out to meet our targets. But now that we have a little bit more money uh, to play with, I would strongly suggest we add 20,000 back to the uh, softball proposal and put it at it as original funding request of 85,000. Uh, Doug. Yeah, I was I was going to take the opposite tack and say we should just fund what each applicant ended up asking for and leave it at that. Uh, it sounds like occasionally requests come in outside of the usual cycle, and I would appreciate having a little money in reserve that we could respond to something like that with. Uh, other committee members, the question is, uh, do you wish to allocate the uh, recently returned uh, and net balance of 26,698 to current projects? Matt. Um, yeah, thanks, Tim, for suggesting the softball fields. I have a specific question for Dave about that. Um, one of the things that was uh, discussed in the recreation committee about those softball fields is whether or not the town could actually maintain uh, Kiwanis Park and Groff Park and Community Field. So in the recreation committee, the concern was that the improvement would be done at, at um, Kiwanis, but then not maintained, and it probably wouldn't make sense. So, uh, so. With respect to the 25,000, um, I'm happy to allocate it to projects, either one of the um, affordable housing or um, trials, um, I, but I'm I'm easy either way. I'm not, I don't have a very strong opinion. Look, let me ask this question. Um, is there any committee member in addition to Doug who does not want to allocate the $26,698. I guess we're big spenders. If you have it, you spend it. Uh, I'm not feeling strong about that position okay. either. So I will not obstruct the, or, you know, prevent consensus. Uh, very good. Uh, um, Dave Zomack. Oh, I'm sorry, Michelle. Yeah. And went down I was a just bit. I was just trying to think a little bit about Matt Matt's uh, question, and I, I think it's a, a good one. And and we struggled with it as staff, and we came up with the the compromise proposal for two reasons, really, in part to to help you all get to the number we all needed to get to, but the other part of it was the reality of can we DPW and the Recreation Department realistically maintain that field in the back portion, the southern portion of Kiwanis. Um, and I'm 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 of two minds here. I, you know, I always try to strive for, you know, kind of going for it. We should do it. I mean, with with Fort River coming offline for probably two years, two seasons, we're gonna need, you know, softball fields. You know, I just I think if Amy Rusecki were here, I think she would be struggling as I am to say, absolutely, we can make that commitment that we will be able to maintain that. So I, I'm struggling a bit, Matt, in answer to your question. I, I, I wish I could say 100%. We have the, the resources, the people power to do it, um, but I'm a little worried. I, do, I will say this, if when, not if, when Fort River comes off, there's going to be a lot of scrutiny and a lot of focus on um, swing space, right? Field swing space, if you will. And I think we're going to have to step up our game to provide those spaces for field sports and, um, you know, sports that depend on a diamond like, like, um, like softball. So I'm kind of 50, 50 on, on, on the answer there. I, I wish I could be more, concrete but uh, thank you dave uh, just uh, i'll get to you in one moment michelle dave so do you know when fort river is coming offline the fields approximately 
I I do not, Holly may have a sense of that, but I, I believe work is likely to happen, uh, start in the spring and then the, the uh, let's see, the no. southern section of, of the site. Actually, where the softball field, I think it's going to come offline in the spring or early summer of 24. Okay, I was thank just you. trying to orient myself. I, uh, the, the softball field is on the southern side of Fort River school site. In, yep. in the final version, it'll be on the northern end. But I think in the in the late spring, early summer, that we lose that softball field. Thank you. Michelle. Yeah, so that late spring, early summer is exactly softball season, right? And um, I would just say that in the you know rec leagues, you rotate between Fort River, Kiwanis, and Mill, and they're always all being used. And it always kind of seemed like Kiwanis wasn't maintained anyway, but you're going to play on it no matter what, and safety conditions nonetheless. And I mean, what is Kiwanis without the softball fields? It's kind of just the softball fields or just a place to walk your dog. So I'm in favor of Tim's suggestion, you know, at least like ramp it up now. And then later on, if you want to take it offline, at least we had the softball fields to support rec softball while Fort River was um, not happening. Uh, thank you. Does anyone have other projects such as the trail restoration and enhancement that they consider to be a candidate or perhaps uh, portable housing funds. Uh, if if it were my comment, uh, which it is, I guess I would uh, I would consider both the trail restoration and the softball fields uh, as candidates for uh, funding. Uh, we've heard a few individuals in support of uh, softball fields so far. Uh, any other? committee members that uh, have an uh, opinion or a comment as to where they believe those funds might go if we were to use them. Well, okay. We've Bob got Santa's up. Uh, um, okay, I gotta fix my screen. Uh, Bob, yes, sorry. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm simply gonna throw my to mix metaphors, throw my hat into the softball uh, field allocation. I, I, I feel a little bit for the trail restoration because it's sort of fungible. It's hard to kind of see a concrete result. And that said, I'm still a supporter of softball. Okay. Well, we have three, uh, three who want to use it for softball. One who suggested that we might wish to. Uh, retain the funds for a rainy day, lack of a better term. Uh, any other uh, comments or thoughts from committee members on this? We could conceivably use 20,000 for softball fields and 6,698 for um, trails if we wanted or 5,000 for trails and leave. <clears throat> I'm seeing no, uh, no, no strong opinions. I'm seeing a th one thumbs up. Uh, maybe we do that. Maybe we, uh, it seems to be that there's an interest in allocating 20,000 for the softball field. Would anyone be opposed to allocating 20,000 from the recently discovered returned funds towards softball fields? Would anyone not be in favor of that? Microphone one. Sam. Yes, David. Um, while the conversation was going on, I was switching computers and trying to get connected. Okay. Listening to the conversation about the softball field and the, I think uh, I may have these figures right, 26,000, the, addition, the additional money. Money is to complete all three of the softball fields. I think uh, in our discussion a couple of weeks ago, uh, David uh, made uh, the recreation committee came back and made major adjustments in their budget. Uh, the whole issue of the pickleball being um, 
not a project that um, uh, I guess we're moving forward with. Uh, as a part of the recreation in Amherst, I would support uh, the whole idea and concept of the three softball fields being completed and using the, I think you said 26,000, I think I'm right, $26,698 and move forward. Okay. So I think we, have... we, owe the, we owe that to the town now that we have, to the citizens, now that we have backed up with the pickleball uh, uh, courts and other recreation type of activities. Uh, thank you, David. If I hear you correctly, um, you're in favor of funding the requested amount that existed from for the softball project. Uh, the requested amount, if I'm wrong, let me know, Dave, was $100,000. Yes. We adjusted it down to $80,000 last week based on the town's input. And uh, I believe you're affirming or agreeing with the idea of returning that $20,000 uh, or were you seeking to exceed the request to uh, 106,000? No, well, not to exceed the request. It's okay. uh, providing the monies that um, was originally requested. Okay. So that's a fourth person in favor of uh, returning 20,000 to the softball fields, which seems to be nearing towards consensus. Uh, Tim. Well, Matt, did you want to tell you had your hand up or maybe you just took it down? Oh, uh, I was just cor correcting the numbers. It was oh, 85 okay. down to 65. Yeah, back to 85. So oh, the proposal yeah. on the table is to go to go for the softball fields facilities from 65 back to 85 which okay. leaves us about 6,800-ish or so yep. left. Okay. Uh, just an editorial comment regarding the softball facilities, and this is more maybe a question for David Zomack, and that is my guess is that if we repair the softball facilities, that will also repair the field. So if people want to have like ultimate Frisbee or soccer and they just reorient and use part of the field that's used for softball, it's going to be a multi-use. So it's not just to have a better softball facility. It's to have a more safe, more appropriate field, the primary purpose of which is softball. So just... That's in my my head. I feel a little more comfortable using dollars that way. Um, okay. So uh, I don't know if that would help, but that's just an editorial comment. Um, Dave Zomack. Uh, thanks, Sam. Um, yeah, and I like where this is going. I, you know, I I think, you know, I, I'm I'm certainly convinced that I I think we. You know, if you all are willing, I, I think we need to kind of reach here and and get these three fields done. And you know, Fort River, we need to keep in mind, um, it's it's a two year build, and then you've also got to rest that new grass. So you're not going to be on that field for a couple of years solid. So I was I was uh, kind of compelled by what Michelle was was saying as well. Um, but uh, to Tim's point. Uh, Tim, that's not exactly uh, kind of spot on. Um, this work is primarily in the infield. It really okay. doesn't do a lot with the outfields of these soccer field. Uh, uh, excuse me, softball fields. It's primarily dealing with the base paths, skinning the base paths, um, leveling them out, laser leveling the infield, so you don't have big lips, you don't have holes, and dealing with these uh, old um, backstops. So it really doesn't benefit uh, the, the multiple use uh, for a place. Well, any of these places are used by other sports, the outfields. But we really, this money will not do much to the outfields. So I, I want to be accurate on that. It's mostly an infield rehab of all three locations. Uh, thank you, Dave. Uh, yep, thank you. 
You good? Okay. Uh, Michelle. Uh, just that the, the fields will continue to be mowed though. So in terms of what Tim was saying, like, yes, you could still play ultimate there, just not in a diamond per se. Yeah. So uh, it seems that uh, there's consensus brewing to return the 20,000 to from 65,000 to 85,000. Uh, thank you, Matt, for uh, recognizing I, I misspoke previously. Um, and now there is another balance of 6,698 of new funds surplus, if we wish to allocate that to any of the projects. Uh, does any committee member have any thoughts on uh, what we may or may not do with the $6,698? Tim, your hand was up first. Is that a layover or is this a new? No, it's not a layover. I was, okay, I was Tim, going to ahead. speak to what you just yep. mentioned. Uh, I would propose that we use that balance of 6698 and put it, it back to the trails and okay. have that number of that I can't see on my screen on the right-hand column there that was reduced, raise it back up by 6,698. Uh, so you have 8,000 and something, I forget what, I can't see it on my screen. Uh, all right, was 100 was reduced to 80, right? So I would propose we add 6,698 to the 80. Uh, thank you. Oh, there you go. That, that would be proposal. And then I have a comment about something else, but I'll hold till the end on that one. Okay. Uh, Matt? Yeah, I agree with Tim. I would like to see it added to the the trails. There's a lot of outstanding work and uh, even 100,000 is not going to fulfill everything or even half of what is out there to be done. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, to recommend putting the 6,698 toward the trials. Okay, uh, Michelle. I also agree. I mean, um, yeah, 100,000 can't fix everything, but 6,000 can actually do something for a single trail. So I think it's a valuable use of money. Does any committee member wish to do something different with the $6,698 uh, than to recommend it for use with the trails. Not seeing any hands from committee members. Uh, I do see a hand from Dave Zomack. Uh, Dave, would you like to comment on our discussion here? My only suggestion might be, it's a rather odd number. Does it make sense to just kind of round, round it down or um, it just, uh, it just kind of begs the question why that number, and this has to go through various iterations of your report into the town council. So I just wondered whether you kind of round, if you're going to recommend it, that you round Memories it. of Pat Layton in physics in high school with significant digits. Uh, I agree with you. <laughs> the question is what might a little that, cleaner. <laughs> so. What might that amount be? We could go 6,000, 6,500. Anyone have a suggestion there Tim uh 6000 going once um works okay. for me uh thank you Dave and Tim uh Doug um uh, well i guess the other number that jumps out as being an irregular number is the 182911 and we have a pretty good justification for that since that's the proposal so, you know, if we have a few hundred dollars left to, if we have uh, what, $89 left to, left over, we could round that up to 183 if we wanted. But I'm not, it's fine with me the way it is. What we did with that number is they asked for 177, 911, which I agree with you is an odd, an odd uh, rounding for something such as this. And we uh, uh, added, a, a flat 5,000, which may or may not uh, be in excess or sufficient for the HPR. I happen to be someone who was raising the discussion of additional funds for the Zion Church for contingencies, although I don't know that 
198 would be a huge difference, and you know, or $89 in this case, which would make it 178. Well, I, that, even I don't though have I an was, opinion. Even though I was one that argued we should not allocate money for a contingency that they didn't ask for, you know, that did come to mind this evening as if there was if we had money left over and they get to the point where they have gotten themselves in a hole would we be willing to bail them out? And is that, you know, should we hold money for that? So just a thought. Any uh, other? No, no objection to where the conversation was headed. Any comments from other committee members on uh, the Zion Church request? Ken. Uh, sorry to make another comment, but I don't feel comfortable with that. I think we should go with the proposal as submitted. I think that doesn't sets a poor precedent for us to make some assumptions that we don't think their numbers have enough in them and so on. I just don't feel comfortable in doing that. So I'd stick with the numbers we have. Any other committee members comments on this uh, subject? I see a hand raised, Matt. I agree with Tim. Okay. All right. So, uh, Holly, are you able to, or maybe you're showing it now and it's my screen. I'm trying to see the spreadsheet. Uh, there we go. So, can you, have you made the edits in terms of what we suggested here? It looks like it. Um, so I did, excuse me, I did update the softball one back to the original. And since you went to go to, I, I just don't know exactly what figure you decided on, 86,000? Yes. Okay. Which brings us to a small surplus, is that correct? Okay. Correct. $698. All right. So from where I'm sitting, I think we've done a good job of discussing areas of potential concern or, or discussions. And we had a different process in terms of ordering how we got to where we are here. Um, I would like to just quickly name each proposal to see if there's anything that any committee member wishes to say regarding them. That is to say, do they wish to change any of the numbers that exist in column K? And if they have a, any comment, uh, I believe we could do that fairly quickly. Not every member would need to speak but I'd like to give the members the opportunity, since we didn't go project by project uh, at this point to say anything that they wish on those proposals and the dollar amounts that are listed. So um, that's what I would like to do at this point. I do see one hand raised. I'm not sure whose hand it is. Uh, Tim. Tim. Yeah. That was that was my bit. If you want to go down through each project, that's fine. I had a completely different thought that I wanted to raise at some point. I, it's hard to tell. But here's my thought. And you can make a decision whether you want to go through. I have some uncomfortableness with a not budgeting any reserves going forward now. Yeah. And B, I have some concern with the housing proposal. I think, again, they were very generous in reducing those. So here's my proposal. My proposal is to not fund the cemeteries. I would say the 100,000 should be zero. And I would put 100,000 in reserves, which would allow us next cycle should the housing program have the needs that they think they might, but we're giving them a little less money for, they could come to us and ask that we use the reserves for that. If at that point if they don't come back and we're good regarding housing, we can ask the town to come back to us 
to see if we would use those reserves to do the cemetery project. But by committing to the cemetery project now, it gives us no flexibility. And that's my proposal. Uh, thank you, Tim. Uh, Robin. Um, yeah, sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. Um, I I would object to that on the basis that um, in our view already, we've talked about um, the urgency for that particular project and the challenge in um, getting consultants committed to the work. Um, so I would I would not be in favor of that. Thank you, Robin. Uh, does anyone else have a comment at the moment in response to Tim's comment relating to the proposal or suggestion that we consider using funds that might be used for the cemeteries and instead using them for one of the two housing proposals. Uh, Katie. Oh, thank you. I, I didn't see the order, forgive me. I just looked up and I saw three. I think I think Doug and Matt were ahead of me. Oh, they're not now. <laughs> okay, great. You're the chair, you get to decide. Um, I, um, I really, I applaud Tim's creative thinking and I actually would like to agree, Tim, with you. However, um, because I, I like that idea, it gives a lot of flexibility, et cetera, but it feels very arbitrary to pick the cemeteries versus anything else. Like I'm thinking, what about that 750 for War Memorial? Because we don't know about which grant we might get, might not get. And so that, I don't feel great about moving forward with that kind of idea and just selecting one project over another that the town is, you know, it just, that does, that feels a little arbitrary and not as well informed and um, maybe something we can consider as a method for doing things like this in the future. Um, because it is creative and it does give flexibility. Thank you, Katie. Uh, Matt? Uh, in this case, I'm gonna agree with Robin. I think we should just continue with the cemetery and then deal with next year, next year. Well, thank you, Matt. Uh, Doug? Uh, as the only person who gave the cemetery project a five out of the gate, I'm, I'm also gonna uh, say I support keeping the 100,000 with the cemetery project. Do other committee members have comments uh, as a follow-up to Tim's suggestion? Please uh, raise your hand. I can't see everybody. But if you raise your hand on your screen, I can see you. Not seeing any hands from committee members on this subject. Uh, I do see a hand from Dave Zomack. Dave, I'd like to call on you if you uh, have something you'd like to uh, say. Yeah, I'd just like to add, Sam. Um, you know, first I I wanted to acknowledge that you know um, Nate Malloy, who who works with me um, and Holly and others, got together you know with the Affordable Housing Trust, and I can't speak for them, but. You know, we we wrestled long and hard with with coming to you with these compromises. And, you know, I, for one, feel very strongly like, you know, we we came to you all in good faith. We we strongly considered those and we feel pretty good about them. There's always you know, we have a, a housing crisis in the region. We know that there's there's tremendous need. But I was just doing some quick math. So. And again, I'm not speaking for the trust, but the trust is part of the town. So their current balance is about $200,000. If the town council votes on this recommendation, that's an additional $300,000. So they'll have $500,000. The town, if if you move forward with this, would have an additional $125,000. So that's $625,000 that would really be available July 1st or an urgent project that may come up. Um, now, that's notwithstanding the fact that the town through CPA, ARPA, and perhaps other sources has already very generously supported the Valley CDC project for home ownership on Ball Lane and the Wayfinders project at East Street School and Belchertown Road. Our hope, I can tell you from the town, is that Wayfinders and Valley CDC 
um, do not come back to us for additional funds. We've we've really invested quite generously in both those projects. I also would add that the town also has some ARPA funds that we need to spend on affordable housing. So not to say we're flush, we are not, but I think between the town and the trust, we will have, if this proposal moves forward at 300 and 125, we'll have $625,000 at our disposal collectively to address you know, needs, but also to be proactive if if we uh, seek, for instance, to, you know, look at another property that might be conducive to, to affordable housing. So I just wanted to put that out there. I, I too, strongly support the cemetery work. I think we're, we're simply getting more behind on repairing these historic stones in both uh, South and North Cemetery. Thanks. Thank you, Dave. Uh... I, I would add, having walked through the uh, South and North cemeteries regularly, having family members who are, reside there, um, I see all the other older stones. I, I don't see the ones in the North Amherst Cemetery, but there's a lot of damaged stones there. Uh, and it's, you know, they're, they're old, so they're not as sturdy as they might be. So I, I do see the need certainly in the South Cemetery, from my perspective. Uh, Tim. Well, you convinced me that that's fine. I, I just wanted to raise the question and the question was well discussed. Uh, I did have a question though about the number. Dave, you said, and I think Holly said, or somebody said 125 for the town. It's 150 unless I'm reading it right or wrong, correct? It's now the new numbers are 300 for the trust and 150 for the town, not 125, correct? Sorry, Tim. Yeah, I lost 25,000 okay. somewhere there. We took out 125. So, okay, good. All right. So those are the that's numbers. Why, that's, that's why Holly keeps track of the numbers. And okay, good. So we have a little more than we thought, which is great. So I feel comfortable based on those comments that we're supporting housing, which I think is I agree is one of the or this the top priority of the town, so um, good that's fine with me. So I withdraw my suggestion uh, about reserves. Uh, thank you, Tim, and uh, thank you for raising the subject. That's uh, what we Fine. do. We we talk about things, and it's good to have discussions related to them. Fine. Who, uh, David uh, Williams? Yes, I don't know whether you can see me, or, but can I you can, hear me? But I can, I can hear you, and okay. I don't know if you have the capacity to raise your hand or not, but please speak up as you're doing. Uh, you yes. Do. On the cemeteries, uh, I support 100% of the proposal that we had. Uh, and when I, I see the North Cemetery every day, and the North Cemetery will not survive another one to two years waiting on funding. Uh, the, uh, I don't know about the stones, I don't, the headstones and all of that, but I know the fence that's around the cemetery is falling apart and it needs attention immediately. So I think that the funds that we have there for the two cemeteries ought to move forward. Uh, thank you, David. Uh, Robin? Um, yeah, I was just going to suggest that um, you had called for a project by project yep. call for comments. Um, if, if and when we move to that, that we just, if there's no commentary that we just move to a vote on those items. Uh, thank you. Streamline things. That's all. Michelle. Sorry, I'm I'm trying to look. Did did we remove the fencing from the cemetery cost? We did. The okay. the uh, town came back as a part of their proposal and indicated that uh, they would work internally, and Alan Slow Alan Snow would attempt to uh, manage his staff to make progress uh, starting with the most urgent needs on the fences. That's my recollection. Um, so thank you. Um, I don't think we need to talk further on the cemetery. Um, I do wish to provide committee members, if they wish, the opportunity 
to speak on any particular proposal. Uh, we, we do have the funds that indicate where we are. Um, so I guess, I guess a, a way of phrasing it, does anyone have any issue or anything they'd like to say? Uh, and Robin, your suggestion is, is a, a reasonable one, I believe. Um, and so I'll do this in two ways. Does anyone have a problem with the current slate of uh, financial numbers in column K for any of the projects? Do any of the project numbers that are listed uh, have present an issue for any of the committee members? Uh, Tim. I cannot see the numbers in column K. <laughs> There, now I can see the numbers in column K. Thank you. <laughs> so again, does any committee member have an issue with the numbers in column K and, and those reflect the edits that have been occurring based upon our discussions? Uh, I'm not seeing any hands raised. I'll scroll through our group. Uh, great, thank you. So. Now that it seems there's no issues, I just want to give committee members an opportunity to make a comment uh, if they wish on any particular proposal. So I'm not going to call committee member to committee member. Does anyone wish to add anything to our discussion that has occurred today regarding the affordable housing trust funds? We will vote afterwards on each project as we proceed. Okay, uh, does anyone wish to have any comment to say regarding the affordable housing development funds? Uh, we're recommending 150,000 currently. Not seeing any hands. If you wish to say something, please speak up. Does anyone wish to say anything further from what we've been talking about regarding the local historic districts? Okay. Uh, does anyone wish to say anything regarding the accessibility and existing conditions study for the Amherst Historical Society? Does anyone wish to say anything or add anything to what we've already discussed regarding the Zion Church? I'll make a comment on this one. Uh, I think that this church is in dire need of work. Uh, and I'm glad that the applicants persevered and I'm glad, and I'd like to thank the town staff, uh, Nate Malloy, Dave Zomack and others for being flexible in seeking to assist the uh, applicant to the extent that they made themselves available. Uh, and I hope that the project is able to uh, come within its budget. And if not, a, as a member of the committee, uh, it would be difficult uh, to see it not be able to go forward for small, lacking small amounts of funds if their, their estimates don't turn out properly. We'll see how it goes, but uh, I'm certainly, this is a project that was in my mind uh, wrestling with our tabling of it last year. Uh, so that's my comment on this project. Uh, thank you to the town staff and uh, uh, congratulations, at least in a perseverance manner for the applicants. Uh, does anyone wish to say anything further on the town of Amherst uh, restoration? Tim, I see your hand is raised. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I will make a comment about the Zion Church. Uh, this is me speaking. I think we are approving funds to renovate an historic structure that's currently called the Zion Church, but is really the Amherst North Church or whatever the proper term is. I just maybe want to just raise the question of taking out the Zion, that's the applicant, but the structure is the Amherst North Church, and that's what we're doing. Uh, that's a small, maybe semantic comment, 
but it speaks to our committee's understanding and belief that we ought to restore for historic purpose that structure, not necessarily give money to the Zion church, yeah. if you will. And I don't know how to do that, but that would be one suggestion. Retitle that request to, I don't know, Amherst North Church, the applicant being the Zion, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, a valid and good point. I recall you doing that last year as well, and I agreed with it at that time also. Uh, Robin. Uh, very quick suggestion. Just put slash North. Amherst Congregational Church, that is the historic name recorded in the Macris inventory. So Amherst Zion Church, it, it, it goes by both names. It, it will eventually, Amherst Zion Church will be a historic name. So I wouldn't recommend removing it. Just put a slash in there and North Amherst Congregational Church. North Amherst Congregational Church, did you say? That's correct. Thank you. Um, does anyone wish to make a comment on the North or South cemeteries uh, in addition to what we have already talked about? Is your hand still raised, Robin, related to this? Nope. Okay. Does anyone wish to make a comment regarding the Mill River history? Before we do that, I see Michelle's hand is raised. Oh, I, I had a comment on that one. Oh, so very good, Michelle. Just go. you're, okay. You're um, I'm not sure where to place this comment because this is a sort of a three-part CPA funding uh, project that we've already funded the first phase. Um, and then the third phase will be the signage. And I just want to, again, bring up the concern that this is a historic project on conservation land. So the conservation department will be um, responsible for the long-term maintenance of the signs, yet CPAC funding or CPA funding can't be used to maintain those signs. So that's going to be in-house funds. And also, I haven't really heard um, actual interest in including any conservation content in the signs. And then just, you know, as Tim said, he was coming from himself, and it's not just me, but when we put signs in previous like natural viewscapes, natural landscapes, which I put on par with historic landscapes, some people have taken issue with that because what has started as a natural river walk is now something with in a built environment. And signs can be developed in certain ways to not be intrusive to that. But I just want to point out that um, I, I want this going forward to meld as as smoothly as possible with the interests of conservation lands and in the future maybe that the maintenance of these projects these signs which maybe 10 years from now could come from future historic cpa funding that's it thank you michelle uh, does anyone else have a comment on this project <clears throat> I have one I'd like to uh, express uh, admiration for the uh, community roots and uh, efforts from volunteers in seeking to put forth the project uh, from the, you know, with great uh, involvement from community members. And this is, they've been doing so pushing forward to try to make progress on this for a number of years now. And uh, I also believe that they, uh, based on their volunteer work and efforts, are <clears throat> present applications that reflect a very frugal mindset, uh, which I find impressive. Uh, that's my comment. Does anyone have a comment that they would like to make on the historic house move, which we've already spoken of. Uh, Michelle, I see your hand is raised. Is that still up? That's a previous one? Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Does anyone wish to make any further comment on pickleball courts, which has been withdrawn? I'll comment that uh, we hope, I would like to see the town in the future. Uh, continue their efforts uh, in identifying a location based upon the strong uh, interest that we've heard on two different 
years okay. from community members for pickleball in Amherst in some location. Uh, does anyone wish to comment further or anew on the Mill River Tennis Court Rehabilitation? Does anyone wish to comment further on the rehabilitation of the softball facilities? Does anyone wish to comment on the revitalization of the War Memorial Pool area? I'll comment that I think it's a uh, very important location for the town uh, and you know, kudos to the town staff for seeking to leverage funds via grant options. Uh, does anyone wish to comment further on the Town of Amherst Trail Restoration and Enhancement proposal? Okay, so we've got lots of proposals here. Uh, I believe we've discussed them all thoroughly. Um, I do wish to call for a roll call vote on each one in case anyone, uh, the town council has to look at each one. Um, the first proposal, I believe we're at a point where we can vote on these uh, projects and recommended funds. Um, would anyone like to make a motion on the- Sam, hands? you have hands up. Hands up, let me look. Doug and then Tim. Uh, Doug Marshall. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry, Sam, but uh, I realized there was one comment I wanted to make about the East Amherst Local Historic District. Yes. And that is that I am supportive of the scope that's contained in this proposal to do the research for the properties in that area. But my support for the research should not be automatically assumed to extend to the creation of another local historic district in the town. I think uh, from a planning board point of view, uh, we may want to dis have a wider discussion in town about uh, just how much of the town we want to have under that designation. Uh, so, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Sam. Doug. I'm sorry I came out of order. No, no, no apologies. It's, uh, it's good to hear from everyone. Uh, Tim. Uh, this is a small, maybe picky point, but you said the real big, excuse me, the revitalization of the War Memorial Pool area. The phrase on this spreadsheet says the revitalization of the War Memorial area. I don't know, frankly, I don't know if there's another War Memorial area or whether this, we should just add the word pool in there to be more clear, but maybe I'm just picky, but I, I don't know. Uh, my comment stands, uh, but your point is well taken regarding when we vote, uh, and it might be helpful if, uh, you know, if one of us or whoever makes a motion can actually look at the names of the um, actual applications. Uh, Holly, do you happen to know if the items that are listed in column D reflect the actual name of the proposal applications, the applicants? They're not verbatim. They're not word okay. for word what was actually submitted. Some of the project titles I just shortened for convenience sakes, but if you'd like, I can um, put them to exactly what they put in that field if you wish. Well, we could either do that or we could reference as we proceed with voting the proposal number. Um, uh, I think, from my perspective, I believe we're apt to be fine given the intent of what we've discussed, we've been discussing. But I would, given the significance of votes, like to uh, hear from any committee members on on this. Tim. Oh, sorry, my hand was still up. Uh, yeah, I just didn't know, frankly, if there's another area in town that's a war memorial and whether we would more specific by adding the word pool. That was my only comment. And I don't recall what the official application title was, but I just raised it before we moved on. Okay. Well, when we submit the uh, report to town council, which Holly and I work on, we can list the 
uh, phrase of what we're voting on correctly. Um, Katie. Well, you just said what I was going to recommend. I think we've got the proposal numbers are. We know which we know what these proposals are, what they relate to. So I feel very comfortable just okay. voting as is and Holly not having to do anything else because I know in the final report it will be accurate. Uh, thank you, Katie. Uh, I see Dave lowered his hand. So uh, I'd like to well, go Sam, sorry yes. if I could just jump in. This really was the war memorial pool area. So I just, I do think it's kind of important. This spreadsheet will live on in the record. So okay. we all may knew that, but the war memorial is outside the pool area. So we're not proposing to spend $750,000 on the war memorial per se. It's the pool, pool house, pool area. So anyway, uh, I know it'll be clarified in your report, but. Now let's do that. Holly, can you make that edit? Out of a word. <laughs> And Tim, thank you for raising the topic. Well, we'll I mean again, we'll just have to discuss it because the the I mean the the project titles that they give are slightly different than what I gave, but it says revitalization of enhanced war memorial area. So but again, it we'll we'll figure that out when we do our final report to town council. Uh, should we on the spreadsheet, if it lives into eternity, have War Memorial Pool Area or War Pool Memorial Area? Oh, I said it. We're going to put the word pool in there. Sorry. We might as well put it afterwards. Okay. So um, thank you, Holly and others. Uh, I'd like to go project proposal by proposal uh, and if a committee member would like to make a motion relating to that proposal, uh, that would be great. Um, the administration funds, there's no proposal, nothing for us to do. Proposal number one, the Bear Day Field Station Educational Center was not eligible, so we didn't deliberate on that one. Uh, so proposal number two is the Amherst Municipal Affordable Housing Trust Development Funds with Column K indicates three hundred thousand dollars. Would any committee member wish to uh, make a motion? Raise so moved. Uh, and the move is to oh approve three hundred thousand for proposal number two. Command three hundred thousand. Second. Uh, who's the second? Doug Marshall. Doug Marshall. We have a. <clears throat> motion we have a second is there any discussion i see no hands for discussion i'd like to call for a roll call vote uh and the again this is to recommend three hundred thousand dollars for the amos amherst municipal affordable housing trust development funds i'll call on members uh please indicate your votes uh matt aye robin aye michelle Your hand is raised, Michelle. Um, and we're not hearing you. Uh, where is Michelle? Maybe she left she, the audience. She got moved she... into the uh, attendees. Yeah. She's not a so panelist we'll, anymore. Let's see if we can move Michelle back in to our group. She should be coming. Thank you for raising your hand, Michelle. Is she back? Thank you. I'm back. I. I. I'm an I. Yeah. Okay. And I'm an I as well. Uh, Doug. I. Tim. I. Bob. I. David. I. And Katie. I. The motion passes nine in favor and uh, zero abstain and zero. Um, uh, uh, zero nays. So it's nine to zero, if I added correctly, uh, as opposed to eight. The next project is the Town of Amherst Affordable Housing Development Funds. Uh, our committee has uh, arrived at a consensus dollar amount after hearing from the town in the amount of $150,000. Uh, would any committee member wish to make a motion? 
Motion to approve $150,000 for the Town of Amherst Affordable Housing Development Funds. Is there a second? I'll second that. Was that you, Katie? Yes. Uh, is there a uh, any discussion? I see no hands for discussion. I'd like to proceed to a roll call vote. Uh, Matt. Aye. Robin. Aye. Michelle. Aye. I will vote aye. Uh, Doug. Aye. Tim. Aye. Bob. Aye. David. Aye. I'm sorry, David, could you say that again? Aye. Having a hard time hearing you. Uh, Katie. Aye. Okay. Next proposal, project number four. Proposal number four is the East Amherst Local Historic District, a request of 20,000 funds and a consensus amount of $20,000 as well. Would anyone wish to make a motion on this proposal? To approve the 20,000 for the East Amherst Local Historical District. Is there a second? Second. second. Oh, I believe that was Robin. So we have a um, motion and a second. Uh, any discussion? Uh, no discussion that I see. I'd like to proceed to a roll call vote. Uh, this is to award 20,000, recommend awarding $20,000 for the East Amherst Local Historic District. Uh, Matt. Aye. Robin. Aye. Michelle. Aye. I will say aye. Doug? Aye. Tim? Aye. Bob? Aye. David? Can't hear you, David. It's, it's muted. Okay, let's see if we can unmute David. Sam? Yeah, we can hear you now, David. Okay, all right. So uh, we're asking for your vote. Aye. Aye, okay. Uh, Katie. Aye. The motion passes nine to zero, as did the Town of Amherst Affordable Housing Development Funds, nine to zero. No abstentions. The next proposal, number five, is the Amherst Historical Society Accessibility and Existing Conditions Study uh, requested amount and consensus amount of $74,350. Uh, would anyone like to make a motion? Motion to uh, approve $74,350 for the Amherst Historical Society Accessibility and Existing Conditions Study. Is there a second? Second. Second. Um, I believe Katie was first on that. Uh, any discussion? I don't see any hands raised for discussion. I'll proceed to a vote. Uh, Matt. Aye. Robin. Aye. Michelle. Aye. I will vote aye. Uh, Doug. Aye. Tim. Aye. Bob. Aye. David. Aye. Uh, Katie. Aye. Motion passes nine in favor, zero against, and zero abstentions. The next proposal is the Amherst Zion uh, Church, North Amherst Congregational Church. Uh, Proposal request of $177,911, uh, recommended amount of $182,911. Uh, would anyone like to make a proposal, a uh, 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 motion on this, excuse me? I, I move $182,911 in support of the Amherst Zion North Amherst Congregational Church project. Second. Uh, I'd like to... Um, making a open it for discussion first anyone like to make a discussion i have a comment i'd like to amend the motion to reference that five thousand of the award uh, is specifically to be used for hpr uh, historic preservation restrictions so moved uh that was robin uh, second. second by David Williams, I believe. 
Yes. Uh, so uh, any discussion? I see Tim, your hand is raised. Oh, I was going to do the same thing. So immaterial now. OK. Uh, is there any further discussion on the amendment? I'd like to vote on the amendment, which is to uh, reference the $5,000 is specific to and only for the uh, HP use for the HPR restriction, the historic preservation restriction. Uh, I'd like to call for a roll call vote on that amended motion. Uh, Matt. Aye. Robin. Aye. Michelle. Aye. I will vote aye. Doug. Aye. Tim. Aye. Bob. Is Bob with us? Hi. Um, I'm seeing a sign on my screen about stop sharing screen. Uh, David. David. Can you speak up? Yes, I. Thank you. Uh, Katie. I. Michelle, did I call on you? Yeah, I just had a question about um, how to record that, the vote. So uh -huh. it was motioned by Katie, and then you amended, and then we and then we voted on your amendment, and it was the amendment was seconded by Dave. So the amended motion was seconded by Dave, and we've all voted aye. Is that how to record uh, it? Anyone got that one? Motion was made. The motion was then discussed and an amendment was proposed. The amendment had a second and we voted on the amendment to the motion, which passed nine to zero. We then just now completed a vote on the amended motion. So we first voted on the amendment and then we voted on the amended motion. Who second, to somebody second the amendment or who, what yes. did Dave second? Okay. And then who seconded the um, the amended motion? I uh, moved I, I moved for the amendment. And then I think we just <laughs> voted on the um, uh, entire motion as amended. I believe we might have to look at the... Uh, okay. To get that accurate. Sorry, <laughs> Michelle. All right. Yeah. Got it. But uh, they both passed nine to zero. And Robin's indicating she voted on the amended motion. We'll see. Sorry about that. But it did pass nine to zero. Uh, Doug Marsh, Doug. Yeah, I, I, I guess I want to disagree with that. We voted had two separate votes: one on first mm -hmm. on the amendment, and then on the amended motion. Uh, we had two sets of motions and two sets of seconds, but we only had one vote on the amended motion. We did yep, not have a correct. vote on the amendment in by itself. Okay, you didn't have to. Agreed. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure what transpired, but if I understand correctly, we approved the final motion that included the amendment. Is that right? Thank you, Doug. Uh, if there's an error in how we did it, let let us know. I, I Paula, you said it went well. No, no, you're all set. When you okay. when you when you first spoke, you said we voted on the original and then voted on the amendment. We only voted on the amended. It okay. was it was I misspoke. proposed and seconded. There was discussion, it was amended, and then there was one vote. So okay. we are all set. Thank you. It was just the way you it's just the way it was explained originally was cool. slightly confusing, but we're <laughs> we're good. Okay, uh, thank you for uh, getting there. Our intent is certainly clear. Um, the next proposal, number seven, is the Town of Amherst restoration of the North and South cemeteries. Originally requested 150,000. The town came back with a revised proposal for 100,000, removing the fence. Uh, the request of recommended consensus is for $100,000. Would anyone wish to make a motion? Motion Ooh, to. to... Oh. <laughs> no, go ahead. Okay, motion, motion to uh, fund one hundred thousand dollars, town of Amherst restoration of North and South cemeteries. Okay, uh, Robin, you're making the motion. Is there a second? Second. Bob, second. Any discussion? 
uh, like to vote on the motion, which is to uh, recommend $100,000 for the Tom Barris North and South Cemeteries. Uh, roll call vote. Matt. Aye. Robin. Aye. Michelle. Aye. I will vote aye. Uh, Doug. Aye. Tim. Aye. Bob. Aye. David. Aye. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. Uh, David, I'm not able. I'm not able to hear David's vote. Is, is can anyone else hear him? I heard him say I. Uh, Michelle heard it. Okay, very good. Uh, Katie, I. The vote passes nine to zero. Uh, the next proposal is the Mill River Historic Trail. Uh, request and recommended amount of forty six thousand eight hundred and seventy five. Uh, would anyone wish to make a motion? I'll make a motion that we uh, approve recommendation of uh, $46,875 for the Mill River Historic Trail proposal. Okay. A second. That would be Robin, a second. Uh, any discussion? I'm not seeing any discussion. I'd like to proceed to a roll call vote. Uh, Matt? Aye. Robin? Aye. Uh, where did everyone go? Michelle? Aye. Aye, okay. I'll say aye. Uh, Doug? Aye. Tim? Aye. Bob? Aye. David? Not hearing you, David. Uh, is David in our meeting? Is he on mute? One moment. David, we can't hear you for some reason. I believe we have to have a roll call vote, don't we, Holly? Yes. Yes, we do. Um, what do we do? Looks like he's muted now. Does it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Aye. Very there good. Thank you, you David. I'm not sure what transpired. We can hear you loud and clear right right now. So, uh, Katie. Aye. The motion passes nine to zero. The next uh, project is the historic house move project proposal number nine. Did we uh, did we vote on this yet? I don't believe we did. Um, would anyone like to make a motion on the historic house move, or do we need to? I assume we need to. Since the I move, I move, I move that we not recommend uh, any dollars for this proposal. Is there second. a second? That was who? Tim. And who seconded it? Robin. Uh, Robin. We have a motion and we have a second. Is there any discussion? See, no hands raised. I'd like to proceed to a vote. Uh, this is to not recommend funding the historic house move, that is to say, uh, not recommending any dollars for it. Matt? Aye. Robin? Aye. Um, I'm going to go out of order here. Tim, your hand is raised. I'll call on you. Yes, because I think it's misleading to have yeses in those columns. We should have noes. I'm not sure. My motion was to deny it, and we are saying... I to my motion, but technically we are not approving it. So we should have an N for no rather than a Y for yes. Now I don't know how to, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just I understand the semantics. Doug Marshall? Yeah, I'd I'd like to suggest that the motion be that we we expend zero dollars on the historic house move, which is what we show in column K, just like all the other numbers. So you yeah, wish that, to make that is what the motion was. Yeah. Well, that's what the motion was, but how we reflect it is the motion was to recommend no dollars for the historic house move, correct? Right. That's what the motion was. So do we agree that we wish to recommend no dollars for the historic house move? Is the vote. Um, Sam. Yes, Katie. Katie, I mean, if there's zero Tim in that instead of a dash, would that help with 
having the why because we are in agreement. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's, it's just just to reflect. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's um, yeah, sure. I mean, we are approving zero. <laughs> Holly, are you able to put the letter zero capitalized in column K such that it will display because the zero won't display? Would a capital use that cut like a um, apostrophe and then write there the zero, go. Holly? There, right, there well. you go. That can suffice. Uh, so we're in mid vote, and Tim, I believe that uh, you phrased it correctly, and we are voting to agree on this motion to recommend zero dollars for this proposal. Right. Uh, we've done so, Matt, Robin, Michelle, I will vote yes as well. That is to say, I agree to not recommend that we don't recommend any dollars for this proposal. Uh, Doug. Aye. Tim. Yes, and and by the way, Holly, I I wouldn't put a zero in the pickle golf carts because that was withdrawn. So it should have a dash, just like the administration. Um, Bob, I'm speaking ahead of my myself here, but I was just looking at the spreadsheet. <laughs> uh, let's finish. Uh, this aye. Bob says I. Uh, David Williams, can't hear you. David is muted. Okay, how do we unmute David? Uh, He's now unmuted. David Williams. Holly, are you able to unmute? Aye. Thank you. If you can, if there's a way for you to keep your uh, yourself unmuted, that would be beneficial. It seems to have muted itself again right after you spoke, David. So uh, David votes aye. Katie? Aye. So the vote passes, I believe, nine to zero. I just um, wanted to I verify because I didn't, everybody was an aye, correct? Correct. Yes. Because I so the next lost. proposal was a withdrawn proposal, as um, Tim has referenced, which is the Kiwanis pickleball courts. So there's no vote required. Uh, proposal number eleven is for the town of Amherst Mill River Tennis Court Rehabilitation, requested sixty thousand. Uh, discussion consensus sixty thousand. Would anyone like to make a motion on the Mill River Tennis Court? Rehabilitation move to a uh, move to approve the sixty thousand dollars for the Mill River Tennis Court Rehab. Is there I'll second that. Thank you. Uh, is there any discussion? Okay, no discussion. I'd like to proceed to a roll call vote. Uh, would any the motion is to uh, recommend sixty thousand dollars to vote to recommend sixty thousand dollars for the Mill River Tennis Court Rehabilitation. Matt, aye. Robin. Aye. Michelle. Aye. I will vote aye. Uh, Doug. Aye. Tim. Aye. Um, Bob. Aye. Uh, David Williams. Where's David Williams? You seem to be muted. I'm not sure what's occurring. Rob, uh, Holly, do you have the capacity to unmute um, I can. David? He's unmuted. David Williams? Is that an aye? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Uh, sorry, uh, Katie. Aye. Uh, the motion passes nine in favor, zero no's and zero abstentions. Next proposal is a request for $85,000 proposal number 12 for the town of Amherst rehabilitation of softball facilities, consensus amount of $85,000. Would anyone wish to make a motion on this? I approve 85,000 for softball. Uh, you move to approve 85,000 for softball. Is there a second? Second. We're all second. Um, I totally got that second. That would be Michelle. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> any discussion? Looking like a true softball player. <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> can, can we add Michelle's? I totally got that second. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let's proceed to a roll call vote. Matt? Aye. Robin? Aye. Michelle? Aye. 
I will vote aye. Doug. Aye. Tim. Aye. Bob. Aye. David Williams. Aye. Thank you. Uh, Katie. Aye. The motion passes nine in favor, zero against, zero abstains. Next proposal is for the Town of Amherst revitalization of enhanced war memorial area or pool area. Uh, requested amount of 750,000, recommend uh, consensus discussion amount of 750,000. Would anyone wish to make a motion on this proposal? Move to approve $750,000 for the War Memorial Area Pool Restoration. I really wanted to get that one in there. Thank you. Second. <laughs> Second, Robin. Uh, is there any discussion? Katie. No discussion? Uh, I'd like to proceed to a roll call vote. Uh, again, we're voting on the motion to approve, to recommend uh, approving $750,000 for the revitalization of the enhanced war memorial pool area. Uh, Matt. Aye. Robin. Aye. Michelle. Aye. I will vote aye. Doug. Aye. Tim. Aye. Bob. Aye. David Williams. David? Aye. Thank you. Uh, Katie? Aye. Motion passes nine to zero, zero abstentions. Uh, next proposal is the Town of Amherst Trail Restoration and Enhancement. Uh, requested funds of $100,000. Uh, consensus after discussions after the town came back to us, uh, $86,000. Would anyone like to make a motion on this proposal? I move to recommend $86,000 for the Town of Amherst Trail Restoration and Enhancement. Is there a second? Second. Oh, second. Uh, was that uh, David Williams or Doug Marshall who seconded? That was Doug. That was Doug. Okay. Uh, any discussion? No further discussion. I'd like to proceed to a roll call vote. Uh, again, the motion is to recommend $86,000 for the Town of Amherst Trail Restoration Enhancement Proposal Number 14. Uh, Matt? Aye. Robin? Aye. Michelle? Aye. I will vote aye. Uh, Doug? Aye. Tim? Aye. Bob? Aye. David Williams? David? Yes, I, I, I. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Katie? Aye. Motion passes nine in favor, zero uh, opposed, zero abstentions. Uh, I believe we've proceeded through all of our votes. Uh, Holly, do we need to make a further motion regarding the uh, Cash reserves, I believe we voted to recommend that they get used towards fiscal year 2025 at our previous meeting. That is correct, but you do have to vote on your debt. So you have to vote to approve the debt payments uh, for Thank FY25 you. in the amount of the 520, 250. So we can have a single vote for that? Yes. Okay, before I do that, Tim, uh, I see that your hand is raised. Yes. Uh... Since we are feeling, and I agree with this, that this spreadsheet will live in our records, I like the use of the column AO, where we see project number 10 was withdrawn. Uh, I would propose we put a note under project nine uh, that says project uh not approved or something, just so we're clear. And up on administration, I'm not sure if we withdrew that or whether we just elected to uh, not fund administration this year. It wasn't a proposal. It's not a 
Oh, it's not. So it's it was all right. So it was, it was under just, discussion. Did we or don't we? But there was no uh, there was no actual request. I don't believe Holly was there a request for ten thousand from the town. Oh, no. okay. Well, Great. you could write Thank reduced you. to zero. Uh, okay. Thank you. Uh, recommended zero. Does what Holly wrote in here suffice from your perspective, Tim? In well, I can't A.O. read column A.O. anymore because of our fo our pictures. <laughs> They're well, not. What it not says in column for row yes. number nine, project nine, it says recommended zero dollars. I can now I can read it. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Any other hands? So um, we need to vote on the debt authorization. Holly, can you show the full set of debt authorization again, please? Which would be uh, we see the total, but can you show the individual amounts again so that we can see them? Okay. So there are six components that uh, total $520,250. Uh, the proposals that have debt that we would be voting on, which is necessary, is the Belchtown Road property, the Rolling Green. And I think Rolling Green is 10 of 10, isn't that? Is that where that is, Holly? Is this our last? Can't see column D if you can enlarge it. Yes, it's 10 of 10. 10, of 10. Uh, Kendrick Park, 4 of 5. Valley CDC Housing, uh, 2 of 10. Track and Field, the first payment. Jones Library, the first payment. And Fort River School, uh, there's no uh, debt at this point that will commence in the future. So the total debt authorization is, uh, required to meet our uh, burden would be $520,250. Would anyone like to make a motion? So moved. We have a motion. 520250 five hundred twenty thousand two hundred fifty dollars in payment of debt. Okay, we have a motion of to pay uh, recommend payment of debt of five hundred twenty thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Is there a second? I'll second that. We have a second. Uh, is there any discussion? I'm seeing no uh, discussion. Uh, I'd like to proceed to a roll call vote. Uh, again, the motion is to recommend the uh, payment of $520,250 towards debt uh, burden or whatever the word would be. Uh, Matt. Aye. Robin. Aye. Michelle. Aye. I will vote aye, Doug. Aye. Tim. Aye. Bob. Aye. David Williams. Aye. Katie. Aye. The motion passes nine to zero. Um, Holly, are you aware of any other funding votes that we need to take in regard to the current applications? Mm, no. Okay. So I believe we proceeded through all of our proposals um, with uh, good discussion and with assistance uh, and I guess internal collaboration from the town of Amherst. Um, Tim, I see your hand is raised. Yeah. I, Holly, can you scroll up to see what our change is there? We've got 600 and something left. Is that right? Six hundred ninety-eight. Rather than just have that hang there, I would propose that we vote to move that six ninety-eight into fiscal twenty-six. No, fiscal twenty-five reserves. Right? Would that is that apt to? Does that need to get voted on, Holly? That I don't know. Would it roll over automatically? If it rolls over automatically, that's fine with me, but I didn't know if we needed to do something. Uh, okay, so if you vote it as a budgeted reserve, then it would you would have the capacity to go back to town 
council and request a project for $698. If you do nothing with it, it's just going to roll over into the available balance in FY26. Okay. That's FY25 so projects. Good. The only the only way you would need to vote on it is if you thought you may wish to spend it in FY25. We okay. I I do expect that we will meet again as a committee before the summer. Uh, so we will have an opportunity if there's a need to utilize it to uh, make that vote. Uh, Michelle. I was just wondering, I, I guess I missed that we weren't using any admin cost because Holly had said that there was some significant cost just associated with advertising the meetings. Is this something that could cover that or was there already discussion about some other pod that that was coming out of? We do have an existing balance in our administrative okay. budget that's significant that can okay. be used for that currently. Is that correct, Holly? That is correct. Got so it. We, we do have the capacity to meet our current and a few subsequent years of administrative budget at present. Um, so we've uh, we've successfully discussed and deliberated and received public input on all of the proposals before us. Uh, the town has uh, considered the financial situation and internally collaborated to identify uh, a, a reasonable path forward from their perspective. And, and we have, uh, I believe, uh, arrived at a, uh, uh, a good outcome from my perspective on all the uh, proposals in front of us. Uh, I do wish to thank all of our committee members as well as all of the applicants and town staff uh, for all their uh, efforts to get us to this point. And, and Holly, thank you for this evening in particular, but certainly for all you've done to this point uh, to get us here. Uh, I do have I believe we've completed the agenda item of continue to discuss and vote on recommendations to town council. I do have a topic that I did not reasonably anticipate 48 hours. I just want to raise this. Um, uh, Holly, I had mentioned this in an email at one point. Um, we had significant discussions over the last year and a half over having um, information available to the community not just during our deliberation cycle regarding ap applying for funds. And I know that the um, apply for funds section category on the website was supplanted by the fiscal year 2025 proposals. Uh, but there is significant interest in the information that resided there for us to be able to uh, make that available again for the community. The apply funds apply for funds would be a category that would appear above the fiscal year 2025 proposals and would lead to a page that had lots of information. Now, I don't know if that is saved anywhere on the town sites or not. I do know that we can replicate it uh, from uh, the previous meetings because I was displaying it and I could provide that content to town staff and to the IT department mm -hmm. through you and you and Dave. Uh, but it is something that I as chair would uh, have a strong desire to have put back on the uh, website. We spent quite a lot of thought through the years in arriving at that set of information. Um, so I guess my question would be, I guess to you, Holly, what, what would be required from our committee to enable that to occur. Um, I'll, I'll just have to work with IT to get it back. I'm not 100% sure how or okay. if it's saved somewhere or not, but okay. certainly um, if you have the information that goes there, let me just, let me check with IT. It is something okay. that we can certainly take care of getting put back in. I can generate that information if needed, okay. if it exists somewhere. I'd rather not have to. Uh, well, I'd rather not have to as well. So I'm going to pray for I that. Understand. <laughs> but, it, but it's important, I believe, for our committee. And, um, you know, I, I guess the question would be, what would be a reasonable time frame? I realize it's the holidays right now uh, and there's all sorts of activity. But do you think it's uh, within reason that we could get that up 
prior to the end of February? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. I could, I can likely get it. Um, if it, if it needs to be recreated, then it, it may take to the end of January, but if it's something that they That's can fine. just find in an archive somewhere and get back up, it could probably be taken care of, Wonderful. you know, the week after New Year's. So we, we can get to that point. The next stage from our committee standpoint, or at least from our output for, we need to have a, a report that goes to the town finance committee, which considers it and then makes their recommendations to town council. In the previous years, Holly, uh, and last year I worked with Sonia, I generated the descriptions, which I've been working on and uh, she created the financial aspect. I guess you and I should communicate at a later time regarding that uh, to generate a report similar to last year. Um, it's a lot of work in particular for you and or your staff. Uh, I'm always quite impressed uh, with the reports that the town financial staff has been able to generate. Uh, there's so much information in there, but it's something we need to do. I will commit to generating the descriptions and working with you to get them. Uh, and that's the that would be the last output item. Uh, I do think it's in our interest as a committee to meet uh, sometime in the new year uh, where we could both talk about uh, this year's deliberations and if there's recommendations in terms of what we might want to do with our application processes uh, or if we wish to have some other form of outreach. But that can be communicated to our members at a later point in time. Uh, I realize it's four days before the 25th of December. Uh, it's Thursday on a holiday week and we started late, uh, but I did want to update the committee on my general thought processes on uh, where we might go from here. So we won't meet again in the near term uh, and I'll communicate uh, as we go forward with committee members if uh, if there's a, an action item to discuss, but that would be my general intent to have another meeting uh, sometime in the new year, uh, not in January where we could um, just have a follow-up to uh, talk about, such as what we did last May, where one of the agenda items we talked about the application process. Um, anyway, so I don't have any further additional items on the uh, agenda that have not been reasonably anticipated. Uh, I would like to ask the committee members if they have something they'd like to say. Uh, Tim, I see your hand is raised. Yes, I'm just going to read it. Holly, can you send us a copy of the spreadsheet that's right in front of us now? Sure, absolutely. Great, because we aren't going to meet for a while, and it might be nice to have that as a record. Thank you. And, and we do, that reminds me, Tim, we do also have at least one set of draft minutes. We may have a few others, uh, which we would send out at some point in time. Uh, any other comments at this time from any committee members? Happy holidays. <laughs> Happy holidays to everyone. Uh, thank you all so much. Uh, I think this has gone well uh, this year, given uh, the task at hand. I, for one, greatly appreciate the uh, suggestions and discussion items from all the committee members, regardless of whether we voted or not. I'm impressed with the deliberation that our members provide and the uh, thoroughness of discussion for all of the issues. And I'd, I'd certainly like to thank the uh, town staff, from my perspective, uh, from the start of well, ongoing, but uh, Holly's had an extremely busy uh, time period from my perspective over the last, when did Sonia leave? Last uh, January or so. Uh, and Sean left in uh, August. It's like, okay, <laughs> let's do let's do what you've been doing along with two other things uh, on top of it. So I'd like to thank you again, Holly, for uh supporting our committee to this point in time and going forward and thank you dave as well for dave zomack for uh assisting with uh many of the th town interactions and thought discussions that uh 
Sean also persisted in uh, last year. So thank you to all. Happy holidays. Uh, and I will call the meeting uh, adjourned at 9.03 p.m. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Sam. Happy New Year, Thank everyone. You. Great, great job, Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.